gays on a boat, yeah. two gays on a horse, yeah. two gays on a bike, yeah. two gays on a couch. Yay! The, the topic for today's episode is... Gay friends! Alright, gay friends. You're my gay friend. Yes, I am, but I'm, I think I'm your only gay friend. Is that, is that true? No, you have more. No, excuse me. Oh, right. Oh, no, of course. Well, I'm pointing to my, all my audience. <laughs> right, yeah, and camera. And the man oh, behind yeah. the camera, Alden Peters, my good gay friend. You better check yourself. Before you wreck your butt. <laughs> you know, I think that for a lot of gay guys, you first meet other gay guys, and the question is, like, is this someone who could be a, like a romantic or sexual partner. Especially when you're in an environment where there aren't a lot of other gay guys. And a lot of times how you see if that, ha if you have chemistry is through dating, through sex. At least it's the experience I've had and I think that's like one reason why I have so many, so many. I have gay friends is that they were people who at one time were a potential partner who vacated that role but moved into a friendship role. See, I would say all of my friends who are gay, I have not slept with. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I mean, what do, you, what do you feel about that? When you meet a new gay guy, do you feel that sometimes the search for friend and the search for a boyfriend intertwine? There's a lot of people I feel like on dating sites or Grindr as well, who say that they're looking for friendship. I don't understand that. Yeah. Like I don't need to meet people who are gay to be my friends. I'm just be friends with people. And then if they're gay, that's fine. Working in animation and having started working at a younger age, I kind of, made a lot of friends really quickly, and it was people who I related to because we all shared a common interest. So I don't have that many gay friends. You're so right, and I just realized that most of the gay friends I have are also theater friends because I, I got my start in theater. So yeah, like you say, you, you find friends who have similar passions to you, that you do. And yeah, I just realized that, you know, I gravitated towards a field where there happened to be the people who shared my passion also happen to share my sexual orientation. Mm -hmm. On top of that, when two gay guys meet for the first time or hang out for the first time, there's always this layer of having to define whether or not there is going to be some kind sure. of physicality to that relationship or if it's strictly platonic. I know when I met, like, can I say that story? Sure. All right. When I met Alden for the first time, the guy who's behind the camera, we had connected through Tumblr. He was doing his documentary and I was doing my comic strip. And after I invited him out, he texted me back and he said, platonically, of course. I feel like that's very common among gay guys is that there either is this expectation that when you hang out or when you meet up for the first time, you're just going to have sex or you're going to hook up, or you feel like you have to acknowledge that sure. it's not going like, to be that. Acknowledge like the pink elephant in the room. You know, that's why I always sleep with guys on the first date. You do. Just to get it out of the way and to see like, do we have the sexual chemistry or are we just better in the friend zone? Define sleep with. Um, intimacy. Does it mean sex? No, I would never have. You would never have butt sex on the first date? Never, no. Me neither. That's a big step, you know? It involves that... trust, involves trust and um, sometimes pain. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> you know. Am I your only gay friend that you haven't slept with? I believe you are. I'm so special. Yeah, that's your, you know. Why haven't you slept with me? What's wrong with you? We'd love to know what you guys at home think. So what we want you to do is yell at the computer as loud as you can right now. Yeah. JK, lol, we can't hear you. Let us know who you're friends with. Do you, if you're gay, do you feel like you're friends with mostly gay men, uh, mostly women, mostly straight men? And on top of that, would you say that most of your gay friends are guys you have slept with and then formed friendships with? Or guys that you haven't slept with? But maybe you want to sleep with. Or don't. It's entirely up to you and that guy. Let's just pick up some of the very top stuff where it was like... Excuse me? <laughs> top and bottom stuff? <laughs> I'm sorry. Hat, I have a joke for you. Go. Which dragon in How to Train Your Dragon gives the best blowjobs? Toothless. <laughs> Toothless. <laughs> Toothless. Joe, you're fired. Join us next time on an episode of Two Gays on a Couch when I'll be here by myself or with somebody else. What are you going to do? Change the title? I'll be back. <sighs> Fuck, I already copyrighted Two Gays. I'll be back. He'll be back. <laughs>